What's going on everyone? Danny here. Thanks for tuning into another video. I think this is the series that you guys have all been waiting for, the removal of the shell from the frame. Yes, don't worry. I'm going to break down all the step-by-steps on how to do it, all the tools used in each one of those steps, as well as having a little fun. All right, guys, first things first. What we need to do is actually go underneath the trailer, drill out all of the rivets that are holding the belly pan. Once we do that, that'll allow us to remove the belly pan and the remainder of the insulation, which will expose the trailer as well as all of the tanks and the plumbing. Once we do that, we're going to lift the trailer up off the ground to a level point, place the trailer onto the jack stands, and then come into the trailer. From that point, what we're going to do is actually build a frame structure using wood, and we'll go from these frames internally, and it'll run the full length all the way down there, and you'll see that in another video. Once we get that frame built, then what we can do is actually start cutting out the full subfloor, which will expose all of the frame uh, and the ground itself. Once we have the subfloor cut out, uh, we'll actually go in here internally, start to take out all of these mounting bolts that go to the frame that hold the shell on, as well as all of these screws, another mounting bolt. Here's a screw that you can see here better. Is, and these mounting bolts and screws go all the way through the C-channel. So once we get those removed, we will then go outside, drill out all of the rivets that are actually holding the shell to the frame through the C-channel, which you can see all of these right here. So there are a ton of them that go all the way around just like that. Once we have those drilled out, we'll come back inside, place the four pole jacks that I have underneath the wood structure up top here once you uh we'll see that in another video but once we have those pole jacks and then what we'll do is we'll start actually raising the shell off of the frame and now we're ready for framework so let's get started guys you ready let's do it so this is what it looks like underneath the trailer to remove a belly pan some of the tools you're going to need for this channel locks to remove the quarter inch hex screws that have been rusted out or corroded out quarter inch hex uh, drive to remove those screws out. Then the rivets that need to be drilled out are going to need a 1 8 inch drill bit as well as a 5 30 seconds drill bit. And of course the power behind it, a drill. Now what we're going to start removing, most of this is corroded out or rusted out so it's already fallen and leaning and kind of hanging making my job a lot easier but essentially if you can see right up here there's a lot of quarter inch screws as well as rivets that hold it all up on the outer edge and so we need to go in there and remove all these and drill these out and that goes the full length of the trailer so on the rear side let me switch it around real quick you can see it's already hanging but I'm gonna leave these jacks in here to the very last uh, step and once I'm ready for the actual sheet metal to be removed I'll remove this from this side as well as removing it from this side which all is just a couple uh, bolts right here on either end and once I get those removed this whole thing should just drop down and I'll pull it straight out to the back that way and that should be it for the belly pan so let's get this fun started and I'm going to switch this over to time lapse and we're going to go ahead and start removing those sheet metal quarter inch screws as well as drilling out any of those rivets so we can get this whole thing to drop.
Well, that was a fun and complete mess, but as you just watched, the belly pan is officially removed, and I will show you guys that here in just a second. A few notes I do want to add is I did add some tools, which was a 3 quarter inch open end wrench to remove the spare tire bracket, as well as a 3 16 inch drill bit to drill some of the bigger rivets out. I did grab some uh, cutters to cut the trailer brake wires just to make it easier, as well as a small little pry bar just to pry some of the belly pans that were Seco Flex together. So where do we go from here now? Next video, we're going to actually raise the trailer up, get it on jack stands and level. We're going to go inside and cut that subfloor out and then work on that frame from top to bottom. We'll get all the insulation cleaned out, all this mess cleaned up, and we'll go from there. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like, share it with your family and friends, and I thank you all for the continued support. Please add any comments that you guys have that you see or want to see. And uh, appreciate everything that you guys give back as far as feedback. Until next time, guys, Danny signing out.